Good morning, Dee Dee. Pat, 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 and g'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where we are back in our mega city with a very important task in mind. I am here for a reason, and for once in my life, I'm going to try my damnedest not to get distracted. Yesterday, we took on Screamer Hordes at my Horde base, which seemed like a great idea, until I discovered that through my own muppetry and lack of preparation, the zombies were very slow carving out a divot underneath the supports of my horde base which is really super duper bad news bears so today i need to stay focused on my task of getting that upgraded no adventures with dd today no going off and trying to find shiny things i've got to make sure that base is as ready to go as it possibly can be i've got a good amount of concrete a good amount of cobblestone not a lot of wood but i have some wood over at the horde base so that's fine but i need to get some steel so my first port of call today is to boot scoop my my baby all the way back up to the apartment building in the pine forest get some more uh steel on the craft make sure that's cracking away nicely so if i need to reinforce some very important blocks i have the gubbins to do so i've got a bad feeling about this no i don't deeds don't you worry a little propeller noggin about it we're gonna be all a-okay -okay. i'm armed to the teeth with lots of cool guns what are they gonna do what are they gonna do other than cop a bullet to the face and look up at me laughing at them oh this is interesting though i didn't see old matey potato over here trip over the curb and die hit your head bud need a helmet for walking around not your best effort if you're that uncoordinated quickly chuck on the loot and specs and ransack his pockets not much in there but i appreciate the extra nine mil okay i've got distracted already with zombie murder and pillaging some bodies time for me to head back up north back up to where i need to be no more distractions oh speaking of distractions there's a treasure quest icon over there has that is that Sarah's? Oh, it is Sarah's treasure map. It's come back from the dead. Oh, hang on a second, you turkey. Get over here so I can carve your arm and start serving light and or dark meat to whoever bleeding wants it. That it looks at ya. Oh, you cheeky dicey bitch. But it looks at ya, no one will. Sarah's treasure map is back. Oh, and it's right next to my horde base as well. That's nice and convenient. All right. Looks like the gods are smiling on me uh, ever so slightly. Don't take it for granted, though. Maybe it's a trap. That's definitely more their style. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good about my prospects. I, I know that my horde base works. We've got a uh, Blood Moon horde tomorrow night, which is a little bit worrisome. But assuming everything goes relatively according to plan, I've got the recog there to get extra range damage. I've got AP ammo as well uh, for my extra SMG to take care of any armored shenanigans that'll be showing up on my doorstep. But for the most part, I think I'm relatively okay. It's just those supports that's going to cause me a problem. I'm thinking maybe... No, it's fine. It's fine. The power of dinosaurs is taking me away from Nance. I think if I build, like, a, a platform or just some sort of, like, uh, connecting beam on ground level, maybe with, like, some slopes on it to hold grenades out of the grenade shed. Oh, that's a big fuzzy ball. It's like a death. Go around the big speed bump there. But I build that. That'll mean that when the zombies drop down off the bar up the top, they won't really have anywhere to go. They're not going to be on the soft soil to start causing me issues. They'll be on concrete. So that should hopefully save my skin a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing and just hoping that <laughs> something goes right for me. But everything's delicately balanced. One thing goes wrong and it's all over. I was coming over to grab the vendors. Let's check the vendors and see if there's any good candy for me. But a cheeky DD truck. Ew, gross. Left unattended out here. Right, hang on, look, I'll take you so no one else gets excited about it later on. My have picked up something. Is this yours, bud? Sorry, I didn't mean to steal it from you. There you go. Trash can have trash. You can snuggle that in the afterlife for all I can. But I came out here for the vending machine. Should just be around the other corner around here. There it is. I'm kind of tempted to maybe take, like, some, uh, some looting candy if I find it. I don't know. If demos are going to be showing up, demo might drop their pockets. And demo pockets often are laced with some relatively good gubs. So it might be worthwhile. I'm always having this internal battle about whether or not looting candy actually helps. Or is it just an unexpected hindrance? You haven't even seen me yet. That's fine. What's in you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I probably shouldn't, but I will this time. Who knows what might come in handy? I'd rather have the option... Although, I'm bad at making decisions. Maybe I should have left it. Home sweet home once again. In fact, Didi, have you seen this? This is our home. This is where we're going to spend 
Well, the rest of our days together after the day 70 horde. This is... I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? There we go. Up the ladder is probably the smarter option. This is our lovely penthouse apartment where all of our dreams, or at least mine, will hopefully come true. Look at the view. Look at the view, though. Although, admittedly, only the second best view in the building when Dina gets up here. That will be the better one. Nice. Okay, so... Ooh, I don't actually need anything out of you, do I? You should already have a bunch of stuff lathered into you. Let's put a bunch of fuel in. Get your cracking away. We're in the wrong goggles. Hang on. That one will be better. That's going to take eight minutes, which is back exactly how much you have. And you still... Give me you. And I'll just smelt in all of that iron. And in fact... Oh, I took all my fuel blocks down to the other base, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. Let's just chuck in a whole bunch of you. I'm going to use a bunch of wood, but that's fine. Put all of that in about 50 minutes worth? No, hang on. So 6,000 6, iron was an 100 minutes, so 3,000 is 50 minutes, so 1,500 should be about 25 minutes. I hope that math works out, but it probably doesn't. We're going to go with it anyway. Chuck you in like that. Should hopefully be enough. Does it smelt all that iron in? So when I need it later, it's already smelted around the go. I'm just going to grab some of the extra stuff around here and load it into DD. Like extra food down at my other base would be very much handy. Chuck you all into them. And in fact, while I'm thinking about it, uh, do I have any extra nails around? I mean, I know I can make them relatively easily. I should probably move, like, my forges and stuff down to the desert base as well, along with all my extra brass dollary dues. Do I have any spare nails in here? I mean, I suppose I did make an awful lot of storage boxes, which kind of makes sense. Um, ooh, Rockbusters candy. I might need to, you know... I might need to go and dig up a bunch of coal and nitrate because my gunpowder levels are frightfully low and the chemistry station can come with me down to the other base as well. Because I can make my gunpowder out of you. I have plenty of tips and plenty of casings, so making more AP ammo shouldn't be too much of a stretch. <sighs> I don't want to get distracted though. But I do have... Can you not break me freaking house, please, DD? I only just renovated the joint and you're, you just got here and you're already breaking my bloody furnishings. Look, if you don't like it, say something. Don't just start breaking shit and expect me to fix it. Heckin' rude deeds. I've got about 10 minutes left on the casings crafting. I've got plenty of time left for smelting all the iron in. Plus, about 6 minutes worth of steel crafting. And the rock buses can only last for 10 minutes. That's probably not a bad shout. But it is on the way back to where I need to go. If I just have a little bit of patience, which is a completely foreign concept to me, clearly. A little bit of patience. I can grab all the stuff I need to. And on the way back down to the horde base, I can stop off, take my chemistry station with me, grab the stuff for gunpowder, and set that at crafting while I go and do the necessary stuff I have to do today. Can't put it off anymore. Have to get it done today. I think that's the right call. I think that is the right call. So I'll actually grab you... Chuck you into my droney girl. Apparently the propellers have a whole lot of torque. Chuck her into deeds. Take it with me. Yeah, that's the right call. That's, I, I stand by that that's the right call. In fact, I'm so confident that's the right call. I'm actually going to take all of you. Smelt the rest of that clay out of there. And all the lead. Just empty this thing out. Of everything that's available in there. Because I'm going to move the forges. It's been going on too long. Give me all of you. Turn the rest of you into steel. And the rest of that into clay. What's that? 3, 5, 6, 12. I'm going to have more than enough time for that, actually. I'll just whack you up to 15 and be done with it. There we go. So that way, I can take the forges with me, all the gubs inside of it as well, and really move most of my production down to my other base. I like this base an awful lot, but it's too far away from my proper horde base. <sighs> it's a shame to move, though. Deeds only just got here and started breaking the joint. Well, if we're moving out, I should take most of the gubbins with me. Military fiber, definitely need that. I don't... Oh, I might need some glass. Actually, I'll take you with me. Anything kind of valuable will come. I can go and get it if I need it later. In fact, Deeds, I'm going to need to swap you over to more pockets right away. Open you up. The morale booster is great, but just having your presence around me is morale boosting enough. You can all go into them. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what else is in here that I can take with me? I'll take the lockpicks. I'll take all of that. Food-wise, I can leave most. I've got plenty of boiled meat. I only have to last another week anyway. Red tea definitely comes with me. That's for extra learning elixirs. Also take those. Still don't have the book to get extra gubbins from veins, from ore veins, if I'm buzzed on coffee, which is a shame because that's basically what my blood system does. More of a caffeine system than anything else. 
I've grabbed most of anything that's even remotely useful. All of like my teas and frothies and coffees and all sorts of mods and stuff. So I'm going to go and whack all of that into my bike downstairs. Just yeet myself out the window. Oh, almost missed the hay bale, but it's fine. I, I don't know if I'd take damage falling that far, but I think it's safe to assume I probably definitely would. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, you need to be refueled as well. All the way up, because you were looking a little bit dry on the old dinosaur juice tank. Right, chuck all of you into them. Anything extra out of deeds I can fit into you. Can... Hang on a second, you arachnid fuck. No, it's fine. See? It's fine, Dee Dee. Don't even worry, you little blurry noggin about it. Dolch has got me covered. Just like you got me covered. What's even to worry about? Look at that! I've loaded everything into my vehicles, but I've still got like 10 minutes to kill before uh, my forges are ready to take. So I don't want to start doing anything too bold or adventurous while I'm waiting for that. What am I walking for? I've got the power of pterodactyls over here. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm not really flying. It's not pterodactyls. Maybe just a couple of velociraptors, given my extra velocity. That's the worst joke I've ever made. And there's been some doozies along the trip. I'm going to quickly jump on this and just raid this little joint over here. Nice, quick, express, 20-minute raid. If that, in and out, in a jiffy. We're not getting distracted today. We're just making use of our time. What is going on out of here? You look right. Are you just cutting class or something? Hanging out... <laughs> Duck it out for a cheeky couple of durries behind the school bus in the middle of the day. Barely have got through form assembly and you little already out of here just carving up your lungs. Not smart. Not smart. Listen, smoking kills. So I'm just I'm just giving you a shortcut, really. I've got to try and resist raiding too many things in here that I don't explicitly need. Like some of this stuff has come with me anyway. It's like brass and wood I can take, but things like uh yeah, like cloth fragments and stuff, not worthwhile. The things on Oh god. Nope. Oh, quick fingers saves lives. Have a middle finger that can do the job and accurately press the button when you need it to. Just makes everybody more happy. Quickly check you. I'll take the motor tool parts because I am actually taking a stash of that down to the other base with me. Check the loo in case someone has dropped off a couple of stun buttons I can use to uh, fertilize my garden. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. It's fine. See, Dean, it's nothing to worry about. You call them out, I'll shoot them down. Good to have a partner in crime again. Ooh, there's a DD box in here as well. I mean, I already have a DD, so like the uh, the itch to find her is somewhat subsided, but I still, I'm so like uh, entrenched in the idea of being desperate to find the last. And anytime I see any robotics parts, I get a little bit excited at the thought. Hey, bud, hey, dog. Don't mind me, just cruising through. There's probably a paparini around here somewhere as well. I don't trust my shooting under pressure. So SMGs definitely need to be out and about. No one here. Where is the poor-footed bitch? I don't want to let my guard down at all because that's how I die. There's definitely someone here. Oh. Just you. All right. I mean, listen, I was looking for a dog. I mean, I guess ScoMo fits the bill. Or by the looks of you, fits many bills. We've made good time up onto the roof. It's still before midday, so we've still got plenty of time up our sleeves. Any pigeons flapping about? And there you go. There you go. Call me a picnic, because here comes an Ibis. Oh, and there goes an Ibis too. Like, you shoved a panadol on a hot chip. See you bloody later, you flappy fuck. Um, let's go. This way. I've got my XP gogs on at the moment because I do want to get another level up if possible. I gotcha. Oh, oh, no, I don't gotcha. I lied. Oh! Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what? This is getting a little bit too crowded. A little bit too crowded for my taste. Look, I love the idea of having all this company in the bedroom. But I don't think I got the game to match. I talked a big game, but you gotta be sadly supported when you actually get down and not have to follow it up. Although, this looks like the remains are a pretty good night. I'm still looking for, actually, what? Oh, here we go. There's all the, oh, crack a book box as well. Come on, Pistol Pete, whatever volume I'm missing. There's two of them, I'm pretty sure. But I've kind of forgotten, I am supposed to be looking for some red dye somewhere at some point. I've kind of haven't found any dyes of late. Might have to go and hit up a Savage County or something like that to try and get some sort of coloring in my life. I need that, uh, that extra SMG to be dyed red so I don't get confused. Nope, nothing in them. Nothing in there. All right, well, Luton Gogs are on. Just double checking. Let's see what the just desserts are. Ammo making materials. Thank you very much. Leave the machine gun parts. Definitely don't need those. Why is that? 
I don't have that mod installed anymore. Are you glitched out? Look, you don't have a teddy bear head. So I don't know why my morale is so good, but maybe it's just, you know, deep down inside. I'm feeling the love. That whirring noise is like white noise so I can finally get to sleep. Ha, ah, deeds. Deeds is all I need. Read you. Uh, I don't actually need those ones. I'll leave those gauntlets behind. I did hear a zombie around here somewhere as well. Savage country, give me some red dye, if you please. No. What about you? Ooh. Five more brass in loot. I mean, ooh, that's the end of that series as well. Hold your bleeding horses. What's the reward out of you? Lucky looter. That one there. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. That's you know, it's not the, uh, the book I was hoping for, but it's actually not that shabby. I'm happy with that one. Well, time to skedaddle and get back home again. I think this is the way out, or this is the way I came in, so some way, somehow, we'll be together. Huh. Hey. I mean, look, I'm going to go this way, but you can keep on rattling on the door handle as much as you like. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, man, I really like my um, my Pine Forest apartment base. I really wish that the Pine Forest wasn't so rubbish after the... I mean, even the first couple weeks is still pretty rubbish. But, like, it just kind of gets neutered when you get further on into the game. So there's no real reason to stay here. I wish there was a way that, like, the biome bonuses could be applied more evenly as the game progressed. But that's just me having some wishful thinking. Up we go. But can I make this jump now? Huh! Oh, 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 geez. Okay. Oh, I almost, I caught my nostril on the top rung. Didn't quite get a grip though. You are now done. Lovely. I'll grab you. In fact, I'll just use the rest of that fuel to quickly craft up the last of the iron then. I'll grab all my tools and we'll get set and sailing. I don't think it's set and sail on a motorcycle. You know what I mean. The adventure will begin. There goes all the fuel. Take all of that. Take all of you as well. How are you looking? Only got a couple minutes left on you, so that was good. You know, nice express raid. Came back before uh, the time was up. I reckon that's a good win. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, because I have a workbench down in the desert base, I'm taking my uh, chemistry station because that costs... Well, it doesn't cost. It uh, uses like 15 minutes of time to craft and is actually pretty expensive. But forges are pretty uh, cheap. I've only got one forge down there. What is the go? Can I make another one right now? I know I could take them with me and save myself the resources, but I feel like having an extra one wouldn't be a bad shout. Oh, geez, you made it down here nice and quickly. Good on you. Give me that. Give me that. What else do I need? Just some duct tapes and small stones. That could be very doable, actually. If I'm going to grab the stones nice and quickly, I have duct tape down to the other base. Yeah, I think I'll just make myself a new one when I get there. Don't need to waste uh, too much effort ransacking my apartment building. Plus, I want to keep it nice forever come back. I've been a good little survivor and managed to ignore all distractions for a whole two minutes and sit here and watch and get the last of my resources out of this. There we go. You're done. Grab you and you and you. Okay, I will be back in this base again at some point, I'm sure. Definitely take the nitro powder. I don't know how I forgot you last time. That's all good. Deeds, I know you just got here, but say goodbye to it for now. We'll come back another time. Pat, pat, pat. Always a good time for a cheeky pat, pat before we go on, on about our day. Oh, jeez, almost have a shot at that time. Okay, so... It's now half past two. I need to head back down to my desert base, drop some stuff off, get my forges on the go, and just get my life in some semblance of order. But once that's up and going, I can go out to the horde base and do the repairs I need. I know it seems dumb that I've put it off so long, but I had to get the resources going. Plus, when you have the actual resources, building doesn't take all that long. Might take a couple of hours, but that's okay. I've got that up my sleeve. It's just like, yeah, the only timely part of that, or the only time expensive part of that, is just faffing about trying to get everything in your pockets. I can't forget on my way through, try and split that gap. There we go. Nice and easy, like you're weaving through the cat eyes. I can't forget to go and hit up the gunpowder mine and get myself some more, or some more gunpowder. I need that to make myself some more ammo. It should just be just here. It's on the way back down south, overshot of the bit, but that's fine. Just uh, whack the old bike there. Now, I need... Uh, I'll need some coffee, actually. Thank you. I'll need some Rockbusters candy as well. The rest of that can all stay behind. Uh, yep, that'll be good. And also, now I have DD to warn me if a screamer does show up. Though I should be pretty much okay. Easy. Down we go. All right. So what's my main my main uh, need down here? I suppose it's both of them. So I'm going to just whack in... Oh, hang on. Before I start, I should go and get some repair kits in case my pickaxe does break halfway through. I should just whack on the Rockbusters candy, spend five minutes digging one, five minutes digging the other, and just be happy with that. I've got myself nice and buzzed on coffee. Got the effect lasting for about the same as I've got the Rockbusters going. Plus, 
I mean, it's got the icon on my screen, so I hope it's actually giving me the effect. I'm hoping I can get my stamina regen bonus, even though DD doesn't currently have the teddy bear on. But can I just quickly check you? Do you have the space for me to do the swap over? Mm, maybe not. I'll take all of you anyway, because I think I'd rather just make doubly sure of it. It'd be a really good thing for me to have. There you go. Whack you on. I'll just keep your pockets on me for the moment. Not worry about it so much. Extra stamina boost is out of that. Extra stamina boost is out of the coffee as well. This should go pretty swimmingly, I hope. At least I need it to. Master, we are not alone. I was going to say, I can hear some footsteps upstairs, but I do have the spikes there. That sounds like more than just one set of footsteps, though. That sounds like a proper horde. Can I get up and out, please? I need to actually defend my mind. Excuse me, excuse me. Up and out. Yeah, okay. There was a few more than I really wanted to come and join the party. I mean, look, I know I'm digging stuff right now, but I'm not digging you. Go away. You can piss off as well. Where did you guys come from? Like, there was just, what, a little gaggle of Muppets cruising around, and that's about it? It wasn't big enough to be, like, a proper horde, but big enough to cause me some issues. All right, not going to bother fixing the spikes because time is too much of the essence. That was a little bit inconvenient. That's heckin' rude to come up and interrupt me. Ooh, got a level up, which I wasn't really anticipating. Now, I do want to put that into robotics because it'll make DD even better again. Although, it doesn't take two more points. Because uh, I need to get DD up to level five to actually get... Oh, wait, is it? No. She's level three at the moment. Level four will have the same amount of uh, mod slots in her. Level five is the next level to get an extra pocket mod. So, it's not really worth me spending the point, but I'll hold on to it for now. I could put it into Mother Load, actually, and this be even more worthwhile. Speaking of making things worthwhile, my um, uh, Rock Busters is down to five minutes, so it's time for me to switch resources. Quickly just duck out of there and go and start mining up the white stuff at the end of the cavern. Hmm, do I spend that point or do I hold on to it? I'm not sure, but apparently mining gives you a shitload of experience, which is kind of fun. Didn't know that. Ooh, there's lead at the back of this little cavern as well. So I knew the lead mine was nearby, but I don't think I'd actually discovered it down in the depths yet. So that's a good sign for me. I don't need it. Got shitloads of lead and shitload of brass and more importantly, shitload of casings and tips as well. Uh, so we're all good on all those fronts. We need to offer just the tip. I've got plenty to do so with. Grab you. What's my balance looking like at the moment though? Because I think I had some extra nitrate. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm at 1,500 nitrate. Ended up like 1,500 on top of that. I might need to go and get some more coal at the end of this, but I'll keep my eye on it. Just want to make sure I take advantage of every last second I have. I'm down to my last minute on the rock busters and doing my best. Like I'm trying to dig my way out of a hole underneath the big T where I'm looking for treasure. I'm trying to dig down as much as I can. Um, how are we looking? What's the balance like? 3,600. Okay, I'll get a couple more. Actually, you know what? No, I'll get this last one. There we go. And then I'm going to... Sorry. I'm going to abandon this hole and go and get a little bit more coal just to try and make sure they're on par for both of them. Because otherwise, I can't use either of them. I'm going to have a bunch of scraps left over doing absolutely nothing for anyone. Oh, there's lead there too. Okay. Good job me being observant. Never. How are we looking? How are we looking? 36, 37. That's fine. Oh, the crickets are starting to chirp though. I've got so much left to do today. I'm not ready to give this up yet. That'll do me, I think. There's a hundred between them. That's just going to have to be how it is. Let's get up and out of here again. It's quarter past seven. The crickets are starting to chirp to let me know I've left this way too late. But I had to do it. It was important that I did that now. Because that means I can go through the next week crafting all the ammo for day 70 without having to worry too much about it. I was going to have to do it eventually. May as well assume that I'm going to survive tomorrow night and prepare accordingly rather than accept my imminent death and just sit in the corner and suck my thumb for a while. I'm going to quickly head back to my desert house, chuck down the extra forge, um, get some steel and stuff on the craft and tips and casings and whatnot and actually my gunpowder. Because I can build the horde base at night. That's not too much of an ask. It's pretty much fine. I've done it before. Plus, I want to uh, dig up that buried treasure as well. There's so much to do. So many things on my list. I haven't really thought out how I want to lay out my base really at all. I might have to move you real quick, actually. Give me you. I can pick you up because I have all the land claim blocks in all of my bases. Right. Nice and fast. Where is my chemistry station? Are you holding on to it, Deans? Hold on, a jiffy. No? Oh, it's in the bike downstairs, isn't it? For goodness sake. All right, drop down to them. Drop down to them. Nice and quick. Where is it? Where is the bloody thing? That's the one thing that I needed. Come back for the rest of you in a moment. 
God, now it's already 8 o'clock. Time just keeps on slipping away from me like it's the opening theme of Space Jam. How? How does it go so quick? Why am I having so much fun? There we go. That works for me. In fact, give me my fuel blocks, which should be... There you are, just there. They were free and they burn forever, so... Chuck in a wacky you. XP gogs are on. Bunch of gunpowder. Gonna take a whole hour. Oh, that's right on the nipple. Thank you very much. I will do that. Nice. That's not cooking away. I never have to worry about that again. You can hold on to that and that and that. You're all good. Okay. I also need to, while I'm thinking about it, I need to make myself a forge. Leather, duct tape, short iron pipes. Leather, duct tape, short iron pipes. Quickly whack out one of those bad boys. You are already here. So take that one, that one, and that one. You can start smelting away all of my iron, which actually DNA is holding the rest of it. All my iron, all of my claim. Deeds, get the shit up here, please. Come on, fly out the outside of the building. You can figure it out. Get up here, damn it. Iron, lead, that's all in. You're going to need, what did I say it was? So it was like... 3,000 iron is like 50 minutes, I think it was, of burn time, which would be more than enough. Oh, actually, you're all a little bit more. So let's go, let's just guess it's about 75 minutes. Sure, why not? Get you cooking away. Turn you on, which turning things on was always as easy as just pressing a button, or maybe we're just finding the wrong buttons. You're cooking away nicely. My other forge should be done by now. Quickly grab you and chuck you just there. That actually turned out really well. I'm happy with how that looks. And you... Actually, give me half of that uh, clay back. I'll chuck you into them. What's the more pressing issue? I think it was probably brass. Got some brass in there. Dee's probably holding some more. Dee Dee, there you are, hanging out behind the <laughs> behind the floor. No, I thought I had more brass than that. I'm going to leave it in the car. Anyway, I'll get this crafting away and go and have a look. I can't believe it's already 9.30. I may not have the time to do the bloody base upgrades I needed to do today. I can do it tomorrow before the horde shows up, but... I hate leaving things to the day of because when I do that, then something else distracts me and then I never actually get around to doing what I need to until the red moon is already rising. I'm panicking, trying to pour cement into all of the crevices are left untouched. Silly. Silly, but it's going to be that way, I think. All you guys can go into there. That's also the tools box. You can have that one and that one. I'm definitely going to need to build some more storage out here because it is chock a bleeding block. You guys can all go into them. Okay, is there anything I'm missing? Is there anything getting left behind that I should be aware of? Do I just leave a shitload of brass behind? I mean, I've got all of this. I can smelt the brass if I need to. I just thought I had some more of it. I'm not sure. Either way, though, I'll get you cracking onto that one. Try not to waste any time. Then you are cooking away with no brass. How have I been to that? How have I been to that so badly? Where's all my brass gone? All right, well, look, for the meantime, I'll just grab those dollary doos, split you in half, and chuck you in there. You'll smelt away for whatever brass I can get. That'll be nice and lovely. So that's going to make me some more casings. But I do have quite a lot of them already. Casings is definitely the one that's uh, getting left behind. I need another thousand casings. I'll leave you going. What am I missing? What am I missing? What's the important part here? Give me you. Give me, not you, give me that one and that one and see if we can just get you pushing away to make some more AP ammo. There's a lot of moving wheels at the moment. I'm struggling to keep track. Actually, I didn't realize this. Bullet tips and gunpowder uh, cost double for AP ammo. So maybe that might be my last load of AP ammo, actually, because I got a bit in here and I shouldn't really need it all that much, I don't think. I'd rather just make a shitload of regular 9mm ammo. Like, yes, AP would be better, but if I just spray and continue to pray, hopefully I'll do enough damage to eventually kill a demo or something. I haven't left anything down on the bike. DD should be empty by now. Let me just quickly check your linings. Grab you. You are empty. So everything's been moved down. Oh, actually, one last thing. Give me that. Give me that. And give me... Where the hell did you go? I brought a whole bunch of stones with me. Give me that. Let's get you crafting away all of this as well. Split you in half. That one and that one. There we go. So everything in my base right now is cooking something up, except for my cooker. One thing that does make me nervous about this, though, is just, like, I've got all these things going. I don't have a base built at this base. Like, my apartment building had the horde base strapped to the side of it. My bloody horde base clearly is a horde base, but this one is a little bit exposed. If a screamer shows up here, or worse, a screamer horde, I might be up a bit of a creek without any sort of means of propulsion. That wouldn't be a great thing for me. I should grab both of you. Real quick, want to make some storage. Make sure they're the rideable ones. 
Let's go. Mm, let's just go another four, actually. That should be okay. I can change over that one. I'm kind of okay for the moment, but some more specialization would be a good idea. Just going to upgrade my ladder now while I'm thinking about it so I don't have another accidental mishap and break half my base by picking up the wrong block. That wall's all upgraded as well. You can go back in. Thank you very much for your generous donation of your building. That goes away. Okay. Real quick, give me all of you. Break down this cheeky box and replace it with some actual storage. Nice, nice. You, you. Oh, you. That one, that one, that one, that one. Cool. Okay. So now I just need to go through and sort out everything. Get like all of like my parts, I think, out of here. Leave this as like the mods box. Maybe even go like electrical and stuff. Electrical and tools, maybe. And just kind of diversify all of my storage. <sighs> Not sure how I feel about living down here now. I miss my old house, but I suppose this is a pretty good spot to be. It's going to take me a little while to go through and sort out all of my stuff. And also, I like, keep all the fires going and all of the crafting going and all the things I need to be paying somewhat attention to. You need some more steel. Little by little, we'll get some more out of you. You're crafting ammo. You're crafting concrete. You're crafting gunpowder. This is a lot of work. There's a lot of industry going on here in a very confined space. Deeds, I hope you're admiring my handiwork here because for once in my life, I'm actually being competent at surviving. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I know I came out swinging. I was like, I have to not get distracted and go and re uh, well, repair my horde base today. Didn't get to do it, but that's why I did all the hard work today. So first thing in the morning, I can go out. I'm going to ignore the treasure and I'm going to go and fix up the horde base. Make sure that's as spiffing as it can get. Unfortunately, concrete no longer needs to dry, so that's going to save me some time. Then I can go dig up the uh, the buried treasure and make sure I've got all of the boxes ticked, all of the I's crossed and all of the T's dotted to make sure I'm ready for the Blood Moon Horde. But I'll have to come back and fight that Blood Moon Horde in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.